Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Banlist Special Podcast. Emergency Banlist Special Podcast. It's not actually an emergency. No, it's an emergency, Jake. It's not. It's an emergency. It's less than three months. It doesn't say so. They never say so. <laughs> Did the spiral one say emergency? No, and then people got all bitchy and like, it's not an emergency banlist. Like, dude, it happened like two weeks after the last banlist. Also, they don't do the three monthly. It's a few months from now. Yeah, but this isn't a few months from now. This isn't it, is. it hasn't even been two whole months since we've received a banlist. That's a few. No, two is anyway. a two is a few. Two is a few. Actually, two is a couple. Three is a few. Anyway, I am Jake. <laughs> this is Ben from Norman TCG. I'm not doing title cards for this. Well, it's too late for that. I've put them in. Anyway, uh, so we have a ban list. Uh, so we spoke about this in recent podcasts uh, that it may be a case of we get one just before YCS or we get one as. Ben would like to call it an emergency ban list. Um, so it is the latter, uh, which is good for us in the sense that it's very we're knowing what's happening going into YCS. Yep. There's no guarantee of this, by the way. Uh, they may decide to drop a ban list on the Friday beforehand. No, sure, surely not. I don't think there's any major events between now and then. Uh, I think uh, YCS Rio is happening soonish. Because oh, yeah. that's those scribbles. coins that I... Wait, isn't that before December, though? Isn't that end of November? Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it's the last YCS of the current list. Yeah. So yeah, there's yeah maybe no major events between yeah. now and then. They used to have Anaheim in December, but I don't know if that's a thing anymore. That was a pre-COVID thing. I was going to say, I don't think I've heard about Anaheim. So yeah, if that is the case, yeah, hopefully there's no need for them to change between now and our YCS. Yeah. So our YCS could be the last one of this list. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Depending maybe. Depending on how things go. Um... So, uh, yeah, if you weren't aware, there is a ban list. Uh, it is effective as of December 1st, so we get another week and a bit to play under current We get list. three tournaments. I've already changed my deck. Pre, before this, I was changing my deck. Already done. I only just built my deck to uh, have the issues and stuff in it last night, so the update to the list is uh, poorly Time. timed. No, it's very well timed, Jake. <laughs> very well timed. Uh, so, yes, we move in. So, we start with the bands. Um, we have Curious the Light Sworn Dominion. Strange for it to be banned now. Should have been banned the last The timing of it is t- yeah. <laughs> terrible. Everyone stopped playing it and Konami was like, that was a problem. We probably should have banned that. Let's ban it. It feels like they're telling people that like if they wanted to go back to danger lists now that no. other cards have been hit, it's no, like, no. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> you cannot link three, send an Ishizu, send three, send five. Jesus Christ. No doing that. No. To be fair, no. this is... When I looked at it and I had a bit of a thought... Have a thought, think. Um, this is probably the one thing on this ban list that's straight up preemptive. They probably did their due diligence like they should do with every ban list and were like, we're going to do these hits. Things will pivot this way. We don't want that to happen. We're going to hit it. However, they probably didn't do that. And here we are. Yeah, I dare say it was the former thing that you mentioned that they're like, oh, this was a problem a while ago. We should address it now. Now. <laughs> yes. Right about now. Just like the next band card on this band list. Yes, and this makes me very happy. It really does. Mystic Mine is banned! Uh, Woo! <laughs> Wait a pop the high, Jake. I should have oh, got the hat that- for this. Well, that's the. I had a crown in my car. I forgot to bring it. I was going to wear a crown when the Mystic Mine got announced. I forgot to bring it. Imagine me with a crown. This makes me so happy. It should have happened years ago, but yes. it's happening now, which is the important thing. It's stupid with a capital O that we've had to deal with this for so long. We've made a mockery of it for so long, and it's finally here. I kind of conceded that it would never get banned if it wasn't banned on the last ban list. But hey, a month and a half later, uh, actually. You know how like everyone was like celebrating it at YCSs and stuff and being like, woo, Mystic Mind. Do you think Konami thought that was not ironic? No, no, surely they knew it was a joke. I, I don't know if they did. Surely they knew it was a joke. But anyway, uh, they've banned it anyway, which is so good. But also really weirdly timed. Because if there's ever a time where Mystic Mind conceivably could live in a format and you could call it balanced no 
No. In a T zero format, you don't reckon that a card like that could be argued to be balanced? No, it's not balanced. Because you're not actively playing your deck to beat someone. You're just hoping that they don't have the out, and you go, Mystic Mind. You've already make, milled yourself out I half? Know, I know, plus. but this is the thing. The people that make the argument that Mystic Mind's balanced also argue that they're not using Mystic Mind that way, even though we all know that's a fucking lie. That is the exact way to use Mystic Mind. It's, I activated it, did you have any out? Okay. Or you're playing Sky Striker and you activate it and you go, I only ever need one monster and it can attack directly. Poke, 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 poke. <laughs> Fucking Sky Striker. If you can't go down to one Link monster, you're fucked. And they keep getting stuff as well. Fucking. <sighs> look, one day we'll live in a world where we don't have to look at Sky Striker. And that'll be the day that governments of the world invest in removing pedophiles from the system. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, speaking. No, I don't think I can get away with that. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Uh, we move on to limits. Um, and uh, again, to address the issue of tier element, they have hit Herald of the Orange Light. It is now to one. Um, are people still going to play it at one? Yeah, I of course. You still, play it, you yeah. still play it at one. Like, if you opened it, yay! Saki card, woo! Yeah, I suppose we're still playing Instant like, Fusion, aren't we? <laughs> so I've been playing this deck for the past couple of weeks now. And, like, the amount of times you genuinely open the mill 5 plus the orange light isn't that often. So it's like, oh, I've lost this tiny little bit of a, cut, of a tiny little bit of the consistency of my deck. Okay. And it's not like there's any lack of consistency cards that you can replace with it either. Like, exactly. there's a, like you could just whack in another 2 Agito if, like, you're yep. struggling for brain power to work out something better. Yep. Even I'm now, I'm thinking put... of putting back my knight. Um, serpent thingy back in. I'm just putting talents in the main deck. Yeah, so I've already got talents. I've been siding talents. I'm like, two copies of talents into main deck. Two copies of blue light or green light or whichever fucking white color it is into the side deck. Green or purple? Green. For spells? Yes. Which spell? Deep Fisher. Wanderer's so. Magnificent Map. Triple yeah. P. Yeah. There's a lot, of, a lot of good spell cards in a lot of the decks that are going they to are. Uh, be good. I'm actually quite glad that I bought my. um there was a rare one in the 50 cent box at the store so I was like oh. I will take that yes. <laughs> actually take I that. think it comes in ulti I think all three they of do. the heralds come in ulti the green and purple are really cheap well they were really cheap yeah we might have to jump on that sooner yeah. rather than later maybe anyway um, so yeah that one is interesting like it does sort of stop the idea of like the blowout of like they drop defusure you drop um, <laughs> orange light with a Guido mill all their good cards oh green light Green light. Green light. Red light. Green light. <laughs> yeah, red light to your plan. Yeah. Green light to mine. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Green light, green light. Red light. <laughs> green light. <laughs> uh, we move on to semi-limits, uh, and we have Lyralisk Recital Styling. Back to two. Um, it was banned before this, wasn't it? No, it was a one. It was a one. It was a okay. one because at two it creates a loop. Yes. So we're back to that. Um, yeah. I suppose... It's not that bad. Well, you still have some org band and that was arguably the worst part of that package is like you can set up a negate with the thing and you get the searches and whatever whatever but the Samorg at the end which then summoned the barrier statue or the mist valley was probably the worst part of that yeah like it wasn't because towards the end it we did kind of pivot towards just seeing the fucking F0 on the board which is why the recital styling hit happened and the Samorg hit happened later Mm. so by all means, we could, like, pivot back to seeing, like, just the F-Zero builds and see where it goes, but... And there's more they... answers to it in this format than there have been before. Yeah, like, um, Collado Hard, spin it back. Yes. Uh, Simple. Yeah, exactly. There's not no massive problems you should have with outing it, so... Yeah. Uh, and that's it for semi-limits, and then we move on to the freedom list. This is... This is I, it's not unexpected. To be fair, I thought one of these cards was already at three. But <laughs> here we are. So, we start with one of the more random ones, uh, which is Telenite Ptolemaeus. So, I'm If you try... pronounce it Ptolemaeus, you should die. <laughs> What's the problem with that? <laughs> so, I... Uh... We should do podcasts in the day way more often. Yeah, We're way more alert. Mid afternoon podcasts are great, except on a Sunday, because it's the end of our week. Anyway... Um, 
Yeah, so I feel like we discussed this on a recent ban list video and talked about yes. one specific card, which was the reason why it couldn't come back. And I can't remember what that card was. I can't remember what that card was either, because it'd be a rank 5 of some description, but I can't think of a decent rank 5 that's worth summoning 3 level 4s and making this. Is it a quick effect? Yeah. Maybe it was something to do with that. I don't know. Because the main reason I thought of when we were looking over this card, because I remember we discussed it on a ban list video, and I was like, oh, yeah. why can't this card come back? And then I got to the second effect of it, which will never come up, but it could. And that is, if it has 7 material, you can detach um, them and skip your opponent's turn. Bamboozling's legal. What it was bamboozling. It was legal. because bamboozling was legal. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. This this would just be bonkersly easy to make in PK, especially when it had its consist like it's super. It's super consistent still. To be honest, that's possibly why. Bamboozling is level threes. Yes. This level fours. Yes. You could definitely do that in six M. Well, yeah, you could do it in six M. So you go boop 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 bamboozling, boop 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 that, but and then that gives it exactly seven material, because bamboozling doesn't attach to attach. It attaches itself. So it just goes. Whoop. Yeah. Doesn't attach anything. No, it attaches can... if it uses its change effect effect, but yeah. not to actually attach itself. You can definitely do that six samurai. Well, you could. You can definitely just set up the infinite loop, have a fuckload of attack, and then just go and turn skip, attack for game. Yeah, but you can't. Why not? Because. Gossip Shadow's gone now, isn't it? What? Is, is Gossip Shadow banned? But I don't think Gossip Shadow's banned, Jake. Gossip Shadow's legal. Let's have a look. I thought it was banned. No. No, it is still legal. Yeah, so you just go whoop. Detach, skip your opponent's turn, attack the game. Alright, now let's double check that. My I'm brain, it's worked. I'm happy now. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, skip your opponent's next turn during each play's end phase, detach, oh, attach one, uh, Stella Knight card from your extra deck to this card's face material. Ah, that part we're not using, but we be doing the turn skips. Yeah, that could be potentially problematic, as are the next two cards, uh, which are Dimensional Fissure and Macrocosmos. How do I remove... Don't worry, I'm just running my brains... Think of 6M loops later. No, 6M loops are the priority of my mind right now. I need to do deck building. Um, anyway. <laughs> so, Sunday Funday? Anyway. Uh, banish. 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 Macrocosmos. The Fissure. It's an interesting approach that they're taking to this list. Rather than addressing tier by like going, oh, Merly to one, uh, yep. Triple P to one, and all that shit. They've gone, they can have most of their stuff. We're just going to give everybody else some more stuff yes uh, in talking to Andrew today his logic that he's going to go with is to main deck the 3D fissure and side deck the 3 macro uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so because mm -hmm. you can activate D fissure yeah, yeah you can activate second. that on your yeah okay you can just go Bloop. oh did you mean it the other way around no I said side the macro main the D fissure yeah, so he's assuming that he's going to be going second. Well, it doesn't matter. If you main deck in the D fissure, you just activate it. Yeah, I suppose. And then, yeah, when you know you're going first, you put it in the macro. Yeah. 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 But, Plans. yeah, the, I suppose the issue with that is that once people know that you're going first, and particularly because people are going to be super aware that yeah. these are problem cards, that they're going to have spell trap removal. Well, then you just open the D shifter. <laughs> just open it. You have nine cards that say banish everything. Um, the interesting thing with Macrocosmos is because it um, includes that text that says it can summon Helios, Rikalos can negate it. Ooh. Cute. That's cute. Does it negate and destroy? Yes. 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 Cute. Cute. So yeah, not quite the um, thing that people told me back when Ash Blossom first came out, that if you ashed a Macrocosmos it would turn it off for the turn. It's like, no. <laughs> That's not how that works. Is not how that works. Um, but yeah, again, just giving more options to decks that aren't tier element, which is... Nah, it'll be interesting to see how that actually applies. To be fair, this gives more options to very specific decks, mainly Flunderies, because the rest of them suck. Yeah. Because I don't think you can play this in... Because it's any monster that leaves the field. 
If a defissure or sentient? Uh, defissure is, yeah, any monster that leaves the field is banished, so spells and traps will still go to grave. So go from decks still go to grave? Yes. Oh, that kind of sucks. Defissure sucks. Fuck it off. We don't need to play it. Um, yeah. So, again, just giving more options to other decks. But it'll be interesting to see if this actually has any impact on how prevalent Tier Element is. Yeah. Because, yeah, other than those specific decks, and let's just name them for fun's sake, Exorcista and Flundery. Yeah. Um, like, maybe it's Medolce? Medolce, yeah. Well, they kind of want their stuff back in deck, though, don't they? Like, they, they, they want stuff not in Grave, but they also don't want it banished. Well, they, sh- they shift her anyway. Because it doesn't really matter. I suppose. Yeah. Well, I suppose if you make a build that's centric to the fact that uh, your stuff's getting banished. They also just lost Orange Light, so... Oh, yeah, true. Oh, we didn't think of Medolce. The Medolce oh, players and their no. Orange Lights. Fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, let's see how that goes. Uh, Fire Formation Tenki back to three. Uh, yeah, just more support for Tri Brigade. Yeah, Look, weird. we're going to be milling five cards for them, so yeah, they need some more search power. The model Shizu? I don't know, my brain's trying to think of how you can make Shizu work just with... Just stick to 6 Sam. Try Brigade 6 Sam. <laughs> Try Brigade 6 Sam. 6 Sam. Uh, and, then, six Sam. and then finally, Metaverse back to 3, because the worst possible card is already gone. But there's still bad cards. They can still <laughs> necro valley. That's I I'm fairly sure that's why this card's back at three. Is so that you can necro oh, yeah. valley. Is Metaverse once per turn? No. I don't think so. Surely not. It's activating a field spell. Those are all once per turn. So surely it's not once per turn. It isn't. You've also now trap trick for it. Yeah, true. You're now playing you can play nine copies of Necro Valley. Or Zombie World. Ooh, Zombie World. Wink. <laughs> zombie World's interesting. Oh, I suppose Tier Element doesn't give a fuck. Like, you just put Zombie mm, Bitch to Grave. Doesn't it change Grave? or? Uh, yeah, it changes Grave and Thingo. You but can't summon Kick Colors. You don't need to summon Kick Colors. Okay. Or you summon Kick Colors, then activate it, then summon Real Colors, and then it doesn't matter. Okay, whatever. We... The, the main or matchup, the main matchup it, you're putting it in is Flundery, and yes. you don't care. Because they can't play. Because once, yeah, they can't play. Yeah. Like, you could just beat over them with fucking Merly if you really felt like it. <laughs> That's true. So, uh, yeah, as I said, these are coming into effect as of December 1st, and uh, this will apply for a few months. A few months, meaning... Two. <laughs> That's what I found out that that's three. If it's inside of three months, it's an emergency ban list. Because <laughs> otherwise it'd say a couple. So... This really doesn't change all that much. It doesn't change much at all. It felt kind of unnecessary. I'm I'm more than happy with this ban list. Oh yeah, I, don't get I me wrong. I am ecstatic with this it ban list. Changes things for the format that make it healthier. However, it doesn't really address the reason why we needed this ban list. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. more or less just goes, "It's okay, guys. Have a little bit more to counter it. We'll deal with it later." Uh, yeah. So I think the next ban list is going to be a fucking bloodbath. Oh yeah, like yeah, I'm fully prepared for like the end of day one, and we get the notification <sighs> just like we did at fucking Sydney. That's happened the last two about white cases. Ban lists have dropped that weekend. I, mean, I don't think they one don't seem to time. care that much about what happens with our white Oh no, not the which slightest. has been demonstrated by the fact that they did another e ban. After Pepe format. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we were the focus case for that. Yeah, and they yeah. hated it. Yeah. <laughs> we got to which be the ones that because, played with it this time. Yeah, which is weird, right? Because that was less people, or less um, reps in top for Pepe I thought Pepe than was what really tier bad, is. though. Wasn't Pepe like 31 out of 32? Was it that bad? I thought it was real bad. I didn't think it was as bad as that. I thought it was... Oh, maybe I'm thinking of Sky Striker format, where it was like 26 out of 32. But that was always 26 out of 32. Like, it always got 26 out of 32, Sky Striker. Eh. But, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what evolves from this. Um, But, yeah, it's not super high impact. 
And I feel like it was never going to be as an E-ban list because although Mavens was a high-impact set, it's also not been out for that long. Not been out like... Also, we... we also, it's not been out that long because we get it under delay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, outside of those markets, it's been out for like a month and a bit. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, just immediate... after the ban list. <laughs> yeah, and immediately after it was released, it had an immediate effect on the ban list. Oh, yeah. And because it's such a, like... In their mind, it's a premium product because it's not a major set. It's like in the specialty boxes. It's got the sleeves and all that kind of stuff. They probably don't want to cut its shelf life off too soon. In logic of that, you have Sky Striker, whose Mystic Mind just got taken away. They're like, here is all of Sky Striker, but, but the card that makes you functionally operate is now gone. But now they've got Linkage, which gives them mm. like the easiest path to an OTK that I've ever seen. They don't have Mystic Mine. All of a sudden, that match up real easy. You don't have to worry about that anymore. That actually makes me so happy. Your opponent sits down, they start playing Scratch Rack cards, you're like, oh, I can play two monsters. Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Spell and Trap Removal are going to be important in Tier Element moving forward. Nah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Jake. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna put Tornado Dragon in the side. I don't think you have to do it. I, I just don't think you worry about it. I think now you just go fucking balls deep and you're like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Because <laughs> if, it's, again, if you're going first, it doesn't fucking matter. Oh, yeah, it makes zero impact going first. Nope. Um, but yeah, uh, let us know your thoughts of the ban list in the comments below or join our Discord. Link will be in the description if you'd like to jump in, say hi. Um, ask us questions as well because we'll be coming back to you again pretty soon for our regular podcast and uh, yeah we will catch you guys again very soon we certainly will peace